I'm Dr. Dieter Bruno. I'm a urologist currently practicing in Redwood City, California. What we'll do is we'll get you back into the operating room, get you comfortable, get you to sleep, and we'll do our thing. We're always trying to figure out how to accommodate our patients and get things taken care of. And when somebody has an issue, we don't say, well, we'll deal with it in a week or two. We say, we're going to figure out how to get this dealt with as you know, quickly as possible. We sometimes joke and say that physicians think about themselves as superheroes and we spend a lot of hours training and learning how to take care of patients and to think about the patient. But one of the things is that we're not classically trained to think about ourselves. Now we look at how science and technology can help us mitigate physician burnout. It happens when physicians get overworked and can derail our ability to take care of patients. One of the tools we give to physicians essentially allow us to be able to monitor your heart rate and control it with your breathing. Throughout a stressful day, if you don't take time to do that, you're releasing a bunch of stress hormones and it really takes a, an impact and a toll on the body. When I was a kid, my mom was a very thoughtful person, teaching us how you're never too busy to really care about somebody else. Now, my job as a president of the medical staff is to think about uh, my physicians. It's to really make sure their well-being is protected. It's our goal to figure out sustainable ways of dealing with the daily stressors that each and every person encounters. We set up activities throughout the year that allow just an incredible group of physicians to come together. Whether or not it's a paint night or a cooking class or hiking, you get to see the depth that the person right next to you has. Just seeing them smile or to learn about their families, you get to learn about, hey, what they're doing with their children or what they're doing with their spouses, you know, what's important to them outside of medicine. I think that's the best way of being able to really care for one another. Because at the end of the day, we all value relationships. We all want relationships. When it's all said and done, we have to think about others as ultimately better than ourselves. When we can each do that, then we make this place that we live a so much better place to be.